Well, this is 9-11. This is 13 years since the, this town was uh, experienced the worst attack on the United States American soil in the history of our country. Today it's a solemn day. We're standing in front of the memorial here in the Capitol, which there's a reef of flowers uh, to, to show us that we haven't forgotten what happened on 9-11. And as this is going on, down in the basement in one of the largest rooms in this Capitol building, there are people holding a, a discussion about the President's request for dealing with the ISIL army that is right now the scourge of the Middle East. These are very serious days. And as we do this, those of us who live in the 31st District know that we live in the district where most of the war fighters, or many of the war fighters that have taken, taken care of war for the last 12 years for us, live and work. And our soldiers and their families have given more than any other Americans, including anybody in this Congress, to the welfare of our country. And we, we must recognize as we go into this with what the President seems to think is going to be an air war, that ultimately in the history of warfare, you eventually have to have boots on the ground to finish the fight. In most instances, you have to have boots on the ground just to get the fight going the way you want it. So let's don't delude ourselves in thinking that we're not going to be asking our Army to do terrible chores in the future. Therefore, I ask my colleagues today to remember that as we start to discuss war with ISIL, let's also start to discuss rebuilding the United States Army and the United States military. We have, through our, our policies, which I think are mistaken policies, taken our military down to pre-World War II status, and you cannot ask these young people to give any more than they've already given without giving them hope that the career that they've chosen, they will not get fired because of budgetary concerns. So as we do this, and it's, tough, it's going to be a tough discussion and a dangerous vote for everybody, not politically, but for the fact that we're asking Americans to go in harm's way again. So we need to be, I hope that we make a commitment to make sure that our Army, our Navy, our Air Force, and our Marines, and all those who go to war on our behalf have the best of the best, and that we reward those who give us this service by allowing them to continue their careers as they choose, rather than pink slipping them while they are in, a, in the battle as we have done in Afghanistan. So I want us all wake up to the fact that when we act for, ask for a commitment from our military, who always lead from ahead, not from behind, that those military folks will have the best of the best, and those who have chosen a career as our soldiers, they will be able to continue their career as long as they are effective soldiers and are willing to do the job. Let's reward them, not punish them. This is a time when we need to think about the people who are gonna be in the fight. And we in, in our district, in 31st District, we're neighbors with the people who are going to be in the fight. So it's a, it's a very serious time. These are serious vote times. We will, we will accomplish what's necessary by next week to, to, to do what the president wants, I'm sure. And as we all who have war fighters in our district, let's all say a prayer for them today and for every day in the future so, because they are, they are deserving of God's blessings. That's our voting pass for today. And if we get out of town, that's what I'm taking back to the district.